So I've been meaning to do this project for a really long time. But basically what I want to do is that I want to look at U.S. Census data, find out what occupations Latinos are working in, find out how much those occupations pay to find out where Latinos are working. So how we're going to do that is we're going to use a very reliable source of data, which is the U.S. Census. So let me show you how I'm going to get there. So the first thing I do is I am going to go to Google, my best friend forever. So let's do this. So when I type U.S. Census, I'm going to go right here where it says American Fact Finder. So I click on it. Fantastic. So next, again, census website, it does not have the best user experience interface. So it's just like you actually have to look for stuff. So what I want to do is I actually want to go on the American Fact Finder page where I can actually work with the data. So I have to go right here to advanced search. Right there at the very top. All right, let's do this. So the first thing I want to do is I want to look at Latinos in Washington, D.C., and I want to look at occupation. It's really important, and I'm just going to put this out there, to familiarize yourself with the language being used in the census because initially I was looking for jobs and, like, that kind of stuff, but it turns out that jobs is not a key word in the data that's consolidated by the census. So I, of course, wasn't able to find what I was looking for. So familiarize yourself with the language being used in this database. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to do, 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 geography, and I'm going to go to states because I'm looking at D.C., which is a state. So I'm going to go right here to District of Columbia. Add to your selection. Fantastic. Next, I'm going to go on race and ethnic group, and I'm going to look at Latinos, Hispanic, which is right here. So I added that. Fantastic. Next, like the point I just mentioned, it's not jobs, but it's occupation. So I'm going to just go in here. Occupation. Fantastic. So I'm going to click on go. Bam. I got the information for every occupation in the Hispanic and Latino population in the District of Columbia. So I want the most recent data, which is right here. So I'm going to click on it. Great. So I'm actually going to just download it. And I'm going to download it in an Excel file. And download. Bam, it's, there it is. Great. And I'm going to click on it. Bam, it's open. And now what I'm going to do is, you see there's all this extra text that's just completely unnecessary? I don't want any of it. So I'm just going to copy it and command N to create a new Excel sheet. And blah, 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 blah. Command V to paste. I made the next. So now, there are a lot of hidden cells within the spreadsheet, which I absolutely hate. Sometimes, if you're listening to me, please delete this feature. Just make it really clean so I can start working. Okay, cool. So I deleted that. So I got A, B, and C, D. These are merge cells. I want to undo that. So I do not want them merge. Great. So I have... C and D, I'm going to delete these. Great, so I got A, B, and C, and all the information I need. However, you may notice here that when I stack switch is something that we want to change, so we're going to highlight all of them. Great, and then we're going to click that warning button, button convert two numbers. Whoopee! So we got that change. And now what I want to do is that we have mail, right here and then we have female right here so I want to put them side by side so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to copy and I'm going to go right where the male is and paste so now we got male let's see 
Let's see my this. Da 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 da. I'm going to go with pink. Writing stereotypes. And I'm going to highlight female in blue. Do you actually know that blue is a color that you've actually only been able to see in the last few, I don't know, centuries, many years, whatever. But it's a really brand new color to that. Anyway, I'm female for the Latinos in Washington, D.C. based on occupation. So now what I want to do is I want to figure out where Latinos are mostly in. I don't know if that makes sense how I'm explaining it. But basically, if you look here, you'll see that there's kind of like a big line. So that's management, services, sales, natural, and production are the main categories fitting within that bracket. And then we have management, computers, education, healthcare, healthcare support, protection services at those categories because um, not all of them are broken down into like here you have let's spend this a little bit more so here you have management occupations it's under management business and financial which is under management business science and arts so <clears throat> I want to look at all of these management computers education as the main Subcategory. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go delete. Fantastic. So now we have the major careers for men and women and what they are. So now what I want to see is I want to see what the median income is for each of these occupations. So I'm going to go back to the census. And I am going to look at, again, familiarize yourself with the term so that you know exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so back to advanced search. So now I... Here we go. There we go. Occupation by median earnings in the past 12 months. Excellent for 2014, so that's super recent. Let's do this. So it's downloading. downloading. Ah, we got it. So we found the data for 2014 for the median earnings for each occupation. So we're going to download this so that we can take a look see. Okay. Download. And we're going to do the same exact thing we just did. So we're going to copy. Oops. And I'm going to paste this down here. Ruby. Okay. Remember, we don't want to merge. So get rid of that as soon as possible. And we're going to cut this. We'll delete. Shift cells left. So we're going to delete. We're also going to delete this white space. Green. Shift cells left. So what we got is we're going to do the exact same thing. So we start here with management, business, and financial. So we're going to cut anything and everything that does not align on that line. So, delete. Okay, see this. And we're going to, oops. And we're going to paste it right here. There we go. Do you see how beautiful that was? So now, I want to keep in mind what I'm pasting and where I'm pasting it. So I'm going to put median income for occupations here. Then I'm going to put total, as you know, population by occupation in DC. And then I'm going to put right here. 
Latina. And then I'm going to copy this. Great, so now I have no need for this and I'm going to delete it. If so, doesn't matter. All right, great. So now, all right. So right now I have all this data and I'm trying to figure out how to kind of like combine the information so that I can kind of like think about where everything is. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the median income and I'm going to put it where the majority of Latinos are for a specific population. So the margin of error, by the way, is something that is important, but I'm just going to go ahead and ignore it here. Okay. And I organize the occupations by um, kind of like the letter so that I can just like copy and paste the average salary for that specific occupation. So if you look here, it's B, C, D, blah, blah, blah. And I can just paste it to see how our Latino men and women are doing for each occupation. So we got that done. And now what I want to do is that I want to look, I want to once again filter by the highest number of people in every single occupation for both male and female. All right, so we can see just from the numbers here that most of our Latino women are making okay based on income. So now what I'm going to do is I am look to see what my dad is actually telling me because it's one thing to look at the numbers and then it's another thing to like see the numbers in the graph. So let's go ahead and highlight this. We're also going to give it the appropriate color which is pink for male. Not really, we'll just go with red. All right. And then we'll see we'll us. And we're going to create another table. So why are we doing this project? We came across data from the U.S. Census that told us that the educational attainment of Latinos in Washington, D.C. was bimodal, so educated or less than a high school diploma. So it was actually like a youth. So what we were trying to figure out is that where the majority of people in white-collar jobs or in blue-collar jobs, so where were our Latinos working? So this data here for men is telling us that most people are working in management, business, and financial jobs, followed by food preparation and serving, followed by construction, followed by education, legal, community services, and computer engineering, sales. So these are the major seven careers for our Latino men in Washington, D.C., and then we also see for women, they are working in cleaning, followed by management, followed by education, food preparation, and office administrative support. So what does this mean? We are using the data to make an insight, to then make an implication. We are now going to logically assume that the highly educated Latinos and Latinas that are living in Washington, D.C. are also the ones that are working in these management jobs in the business sector in Washington, D.C. Just like we're going to assume that Latinos that, have, that are on the lower end of the education 
um, graph are working in blue collar jobs. So basically with this data, we are now making implications of what this data means, which is really awesome because now we can know how we're going to target a specific group of people and where they are, which is awesome. All right, that's about it. So um, Google your senses. Thank you so much for making the data accessible. You guys are my best friends forever. So yeah, that's that. Yay! Bye.